We just paid $1,950 for this massive pallet of who knows what. Let's start going through it and see if we made a good deal. By the way, the total value will be right there in the corner of the screen. First we got us a Ninja Fit Blender. Ooh. But we have to cut open these boxes because what, what's inside could be something completely different. It's all returned. Ooh. Somebody could have returned a gold bar. So it's a lot of mystery boxes? It's a lot of mystery boxes. They could have returned horse duty for all we know. <laughs> Horse duty. Well, oh. based on the first thing that I'm pulling out, looks like the base of the blender. So I'm gonna oh, say yeah. it is a Ninja Flip Blender. Let's the scan Ninja. it and see what the Ninja Blender is going for. That's selling for approximately 40 bucks. Not a bad start. Let's get this big old long box. Ooh. This has no markings on it. You don't get to look. Hey. Let me get it open. What do you see in there? Bam. What is that? It oh. is a towel rack. A towel wrap. Didn't we just buy a towel wrap for our house like two days ago? We did, but we don't have a black one in this copper brown. Okay, cool. <laughs> towel wrap. Doesn't have a barcode, so we're gonna say about 10 bucks. Next one, we have a 1.5 quart capacity deep air fryer. Deep fryer. Is it in here? Pull it out. Oh yeah. It's a little deep fryer. Look at the little basket. A little cute basket. Actually, brand new like it's supposed to be. Now the question is though, what is this guy going for? Do we have a barcode on here? On yes, we do. This is selling for $30, not bad. <laughs> Let's see what this pile box, oh, that one's heavier than I thought. <laughs> pile box here. What does that say at the bottom? I have no idea. Uh, let's see, dual eight inch Bluetooth ceiling slash wall speakers. Wall speakers, all right, cut them open. Let's make sure they're in there. Okay, I'm to the first speaker here. Is that what it is then? It's look, pile, it says dual eight inch Bluetooth ceiling wall speakers, two-way flush mount home speaker pair. And so, apparently, huh. they're selling for $100 nice. on eBay. So that is not bad at all. Next one here, a Ninja something again. What is this one? A Ninja a Fit, fit blender. blender? Slice it's it open. It's box, but like, look how bad the box is. It looks like it's been re -taped. Maybe a Fit Blender's not what's in here. So there's two cups here. So yeah. I guess that goes on top of the blender? I would think so. Yep, here's the base here. So. A blender. This one's selling for 45 bucks too, so it might be the same as the other one, but hey, $45 again. Big boy here, come here, you big yellow box. What is this thing here? We have it's... a Bella, Bella air fryer. So look at this, you take that box. All right. We have, check out this beautiful air fryer that is here. nice, 2.9 quart. So on the Amazon, it's listed for $47. Nice. And yeah, that's actually a really nice air fryer. It is a nice air fryer. Brand new, just a damaged box, but does anyone keep an air fryer box? You throw it away anyway. All right, I'm gonna get this huge box here. Whoa, whoa. Man, oh, be, be careful, careful, be careful. I've seen quite a few of these in there. These are just little iHealth rapid COVID tests. I think there's like, what, nine bucks? I think bucks? we have eight of them. Eight of them? Yeah. I think they're like nine bucks at the store, so still at $72 in COVID test. Next box we have Ooh. here, a big white box. Mycum rice cooker and warmer. All right, huh. slicer open. Slicer open, I'm gonna stand up again for this one. Let me see this, boink. Oh, you got it. I did, ooh, whoa. How much is that? This one's selling for like over $100. <laughs> I knocked nice. the phone out of your hand. There we go, right there, perfectly new rice cooker. Yeah, I'm seeing on average, that one's about 140 bucks for the rice cooker. That's nice. way more than I thought it would be. Big red box whoa. coming up next, Craftsman Tool. What is so this one? is a electric cold water pressure washer. Oh my gosh, tell me that I thought. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big boy. 1700 PSI. Let's see, slice and dice. All you tool people dice. out there. I feel like every time I say PSI, like, do I really know what I'm talking about? Mm, no. Something for square inch. I know it means power <laughs> or it. something. Okay, so this one you can see in here. Big um, pressure washer here with the tubing, the little like sprayer part, and then I guess an extension here too. So, nice. that's perfect. The last one that sold, sold for 90 for some reason, but on average, they're selling for about 65 to $70, so not bad. Next. What is that? We have a long one that says Playmat on it. Look at this big boy. Just Playmat? Yeah, just Playmat, and like All a right. bear on a cycle. There's no barcode <laughs> on the box, so there's nothing to scan. Right, let's see. Whoa. So let's get this out. Ooh. Did I, I hit you? No, I dodged it, I dodged <laughs> it by that much. It's like a phone. Whoa. A phone, like, it's play mat. So what do you think? Probably like 20 bucks or so? Sure. Let's say $20 for that. By the way, this giant box right here, and this giant box that's slightly off frame right here, right is completely, both of them are completely full of small and medium sized Amazon returns. So those we have no idea what they are until we cut the boxes open. What do you got for Let's us? Let's bring this tool, another tool. We have a... Uh, 
125 millimeter dustless cutter. Dustless cutter? I thought those were called saws. <laughs> I don't know anything about cutter. tools. We gotta slice it open to make sure okay. it's in there. Ooh. Okay, this one's not in the plastic. Yeah, definitely a nice, I mean, I, I don't care what it says. I'm calling it a saw. Yeah, a saw. And with all the little attachments in there. So these are selling for about an average of 60 to $70 open box like that one. Let's see what these giant, heavy, flat boxes are. Kraus. Like this. Oh, yeah, there it is. Kraus. <laughs> Whatever Kraus is. Kraus. Where? I don't even know how to open it. Like, I don't, I don't know, know which way to set it on the table. Open it right here. All right. Slice and dice that thing. Uh, all right. What do we got? We got progress. Ooh, Ooh a whoa. cutting board. A nice cutting board. A nice, nice cutting board. We might have to keep this one. We don't have a nice one like this. <laughs> no, we have the little flimsy ones from like two days. Dollar Tree? I think, somewhere like that. <laughs> Yeah, we're, I think we're gonna have to keep this. These things are actually going for like $40 on eBay, way more than I thought it would be. And it says half off of an original $80. So that's another really good find. Here's another Krauss one, but this one is significantly lighter than that one. So if it's like another cutting board, it's a really light one. Maybe plastic this time around. Maybe. But it's the same brand. Come on, Krauss box. Krauss, what do you got for us, Krauss? What Krauss. do you got? We have some kind of metal rack. Ooh, oh, it's like a dish drain thing, isn't it? Is it? You put it in your sink? Uh, that's yes. what it looks like to me. Yes, okay, so it has like little legs on it. You put it in the bottom of your sink. Maybe it just lets like the food and the gross stuff like fall below it. Yeah, I saw that when I looked up that brand. They're also selling for around the same thing, $35. Oh. There was one of those on eBay sold, so awesome. This is a Poke Audio something. I'm guessing it has to do with speakers. Maybe the word audio has something to do with that, but let's Maybe. cut it open and see <laughs> what it is. First, there's a barcode on the bottom. Doink, scan. Doink. Ooh, what? not bad. What do we got? $77 plus 20 shipping or 100 free shipping. So about 100 bucks on that. Check check, nice although the white one, out. the white so one sold for $100 plus 20 shipping. Ooh, so they're the even white higher. Ones are more expensive. Polk Audio, we have both of them in here and all the little accessories. Now that is awesome. So this one actually doesn't have the box with it at all, but it is a DeLonghi, DeLonghi? DeLonghi. What? Um, and it looks like an espresso maker. I'll type that in. Let's see. DeLonghi espresso maker? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, does it have a model number on it? Uh, I have to open it. Hold on. The so first one. one that popped up when I typed that in is selling for $450. $400? But the one under is selling for $65. So somewhere in that range. EC260BK. That one is selling for about in box. $90 out of box, like $45, so not bad. Now we got another brown box with no writing on it, so cool. no idea what's inside. Slice it open. These are my favorite. It is, they are. No writing, no barcode, just a brown box. Paper! Paper? Just what I wanted. Oh, what is this? What is it that? It is a food saver. A food saver? A food saver. Does it have a brand on it? We have food saver vacuum sealer. FM yep. 2100. Yep. Dash 000. That thing selling for about $15 pre owned or $30 free shipping. So about 15, 20 bucks. Let me get this one behind your head. The pile looks like a car radio, maybe. Or Compact wireless BT stereo amplifier. Oh, about 60 bucks if it's in there and in good shape, it's an open box. Let's see if it's in there. Come on, ooh, look at that. Okay, with packaging and in between the styrofoam. See if I like can get that out. Okay. Practically brand new. Yeah. Look at that. Brand new car radio, still in the plastic and everything. About 60 bucks, not bad. Here's another brown box with no writing on it. Total mystery. You ready to slice this guy open? Yes, I am. So we have a an as seen on TV blue diamond ceramic nonstick. There's a barcode on that, so you can okay, scan that. Okay, I'm about that. to ask you that. Whoa, that's so random. So look at this. Two of these are sold on eBay. One for $20, one for 55. Same exact thing with the two pans in. So somewhere between 20 and 55, we'll call it 40 bucks? Okay. $40 for the pans. But realistically, these are probably gonna go in our cabinet too. Let's get uh, this other blank box from behind your head. Ooh. Slice it open, nothing on it. Let's see what it is. Just the shipping labels. Mystery. Let's Total mystery. Whoa, I'm gonna stand are up these? for this one. This one looks okay. a little complicated. What is this? Okay, so we have a bracket. This is what I always want. 
Whoa. Speakers. Pile wow. speakers again. Nice. Hold These that. are big. This is big as my head, and my head is big. So another bracket, and the other speaker is also in here. So this is a pile waterproof and BT indoor outdoor speaker. These are selling for like $115 pre-owned. New in box. The last one is sold, sold for $196 for the pair of two speakers. So <laughs> that's about $200 fine right there. This black and decker. Uh, what is it? A toaster is it? oven uh, thing? Even toast. An so even toast. toast. Not bad. It's selling for about 40 bucks in a box like that. And I bet you this one's actually it, brand new. It is in there. Brand new. Hydro shot. Ready, aim, clean. So it looks like it is a portable power cleaner. Ooh. I didn't even think that existed. A portable power cleaner. <laughs> I didn't even know that existed either. But I just scanned it and the last one is sold, sold for $60. The one before that one for 100 bucks. Both of them. Brand new, so somewhere between 60 and 100, I say we call it $80. Oh wait, the turn of event. Ooh, what is it? We have the charger and the two. Oh, they didn't put the gun in there? Not the gun part. Oh, that's the problem with buying returns sometimes. Put they scam out. Amazon, and then Amazon wow. then has to scam us. <laughs> they don't want to recoup. A scam pyramid. This one, this one's crap. It's a pyramid scheme there, but you know, it's part of the game. Let's go ahead and go to the next one here. Oh, Hamilton Beach. What is that, a coffee maker? Yeah, just a normal 12 cup coffee maker. Let's scan the barcode. Let's scan it, got it. So, going for about 35 bucks. Pull the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Teamwork. There it is. Check right. that out. We have a brand new coffee maker. Brand new yeah. coffee maker in box and everything. What is this guy here? A kitchen kettle, another deep fryer it looks like? Multi cooker slash steamer. Mm, these pallet people know me. They know I like everything <laughs> fried. Let's see, scan it right there. Ooh, that one sold for $50 last. Brand new in box or open box, whatever you want to call it. And look at that. So that is brand, brand new. new. Right in the box. That's a nice 50 bucks. I'm going to get this big heavy box that I can barely left behind me. <laughs> Ugh, a Ninja Creamy? If that's even what it really is. Ninja we got to cut it open and see. You want to pull it out? Let's make sure it's new. Sure. Let's get this big boy out of here. Pull. Heep. 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 Ah. All right. Teamwork. Check that out. That one is brand new in sealed, and there's all our instruction manuals. But this right here, I'll let me look it up, see what it's worth. This one's actually selling for $120 to $140, and literally two of them sold today, and it's only like 6 a.m. So you know what? They're a hot, <laughs> easy sellable item right now. By the way, they make ice cream, gelato, milkshakes, sorbets, smoothies. All that good stuff. I got two more boxes I can reach. And do you think we should break into one of these giant Amazon mystery boxes? I, do. I really I do. want to see what's in there too. I do. Whoa, this is heavier than I thought it was going to be. Let's sit in this weight. What the heck, it bounces. So they are plastic bags. Oh, are they really? Yeah, like plastic bags. They know what we do for a living. Hey. <laughs> these are definitely staying with us. If you buy storage units like we do, these are basically gold. How many of these do we use in a unit? 10, 15? A lot. Yeah, we go a through lot. a lot of black bags. So that is actually an awesome find for us. Let me get this big old Instapot Pro Cooker thing. Let's see. Oh, if that's cooker. actually what it is. I'm going to scan the barcode up here too. Okay. Doink. <laughs> what do we got? Ooh, that's actually good. It's only for a good price. So I hope it's actually in there. Okay, let's. What is it? What is it? What is it? Is that Ooh, it? yeah. Okay, red. That's definitely what's in there. Yeah, Check here. it out. <laughs> the plastic's not around it, but it is definitely a pressure cooker. <laughs> Open box, they're selling for like $100, $115, $125. Nice. So overall, that's another three-digit find. If you're enjoying the pallet video, make sure you take a second and leave the video a thumbs up. It helps us out a ton. And subscribe if you're new because we're always treasure hunting. Whether it's dumpsters, pallets, or storage units, we're doing it all the time. Now we got this big old box of Amazon Smalls and Medium that we're going to slice open and see what's in there. This is a whole box of who knows how many. Let's what. go. Whoa. Whoa, this looks cool oh, I actually. Shoes. I see shoes too. Whoa. A lot of them. Whoa. Like, a whole box. like, look at this. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. So let's start with this pair. We have a north pair of north side. Look, like hiking boots. Okay. Alright. Cool. What is this? Is this one slide? There's slides. We got slide. one slide. Right, oh, I thought, I... is this the other one? Oh, is there it? they are. Yes. Under armor. Under armor slides. Slide. Then we have a little kids like boot here. I don't see. Oh wait. There it is. No. No? No, this is two different sizes. Hey, uh, look, they're tap shoes. Don't go out doing that. <laughs> I would love if they were my size. I just want to try. Look. Oh, they're, what? They're Miami Dolphin. Oh my God. Uh, check this out. They're oh. like Miami Dolphin style converse. That is awesome. They're women's eight. That, I've never seen that Those before. Those are so cool though. Let's go into this brown box. 
Nothing written on it? Yeah, there's nothing written on it. All right. Let's get this open. Ooh. Hey, look, a pair of what Adidas. Adidas. Those are well, nice Adidas. Yeah, they are. They're literally Adidas, brand um, new. What is it called? Light Motion? Check those out. <laughs> yeah, those are nice. That's pretty cool. Nice, nice, nice. What about this black box here? Like it says, what does that say? Akia? Akakia? Akakia? What's in there? Are the little kid shoes. Check that out. Oh, they're little cleats. The little cleats. Brand new cleats, actually. <laughs> Still in a box. That's pretty cool. What you got? This one, we have some memory foam, like little slide on slippers. That's pretty cool. Well, well I got this soul. Do you have soul? I do have a soul. I have soul. <laughs> These it says are. Upgrade your kit. What the heck is this? Oh, they're inserts. Okay. You see that? I was like, this is the weirdest looking shoe I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> they're inserts, but it looks like they gave you a little bit of height. So we have another brown box here. No Ooh. idea what's in it. These are my absolute favorite. Hey. Ooh. Look at these slippers. They are they look warm. Yeah, I don't see a brand, but check out the inside there. Nice fur, Ooh. like moccasin looking ones. Imagine like that in the snow, like at a fireplace. Don't they just give you fireplace <laughs> snow vibes? Fireplace vibes. I want a brown box with nothing okay. written on it. Like this one. Let's see what I can get. Let's see. What, what are those? Some Heels. white dress shoes. Oh yeah, I would have rocked these. I like the brand box better. Is what? Laundry? <laughs> Look at that, <coughs> not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so this bag right here is kind of weird. It's just a bag with little things in it. Wow, well, really little. Yeah, I don't know what the they jewelry? could be. Oh, no. like, they're little like um, rhinestone like headband Check or that clips. out, can you even see it up here? Weird. It's like rhinestone clips. There's probably like 10, 10, 20 of them in there. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's see what's in this box right here. Open. Open. Ooh, what the heck? I was about to say, ooh, these are some are these slippers too. Yeah, they're like <laughs> slipper sandal slide. Can I ask, what's the point of that? I thought slippers yeah. are to make your feet warm. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of church. I guess around the house, if you want like to wear shoes around the house, they're actually really soft right here. So, so I guess that's what we call them house shoes. Yeah, right? we can call them that. So here's another ooh. pair. I'm going to leave these in the plastic, but they're another pair of Under Armour slides. Nice. What about, oh, this is falling. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. What is this, Heva? These are, are they slides as well? They're like, sandals. these are, yeah, these are more sandals than slides, like really weird sandals. I've never seen them made like this, but a pair of Heva sandals. All right, so this next pair is a flip flops Ooh. and they are, what, what is the team? I don't recognize this. New Orleans Pelicans. The Pelicans? The Pelicans pair of flip flops. Yeah, I never heard of them either. What's in the blue box? I've been avoiding it since sitting on top. Like Let's see, side. open up you. Heels. Ooh, another, no, why do I keep getting all the heels? Are they trying to tell me I should wear heels? <laughs> I'm already tall know. enough. So we have Chuka. C-H-O-O-K-A. What are these, like rain boots? That's what they look like, they kinda have, like, like warm fur ones. on the inside. They're very heavy duty though, very heavy duty rubber. Nice, let's go with another. This one is a lot lighter than the other ones. I feel like this is gonna be some more slippers. If it's more heels, I'm suing. No, these are actually, yeah, they're like a pair of white running shoes. They're very, very light. Like super light. So I guess if you're trying to reduce your weight to run, those are for you. So I'm gonna open this box right here. They're bowling shoes. Uh, bowling shoes. Like it says rental on it. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it's just be returned shoes. somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, the, the, the pair is in there, but that is a pair of bowling shoes. I don't think we've ever found bowling shoes, even in a storage <laughs> unit, have we? Never, because you usually rent them. Yeah, you, nobody usually buys them. What do you got, a rain boot? Then we have, yeah, two rain boots. Ooh, or two pink rain boots. Nice, at least you got the pair. Yep. What's in the little black box here? This is, must be kid shoes again, if it's shoes. Oh, it's one. That, oh, it's hey, the look, it's shoe. the tap shoe. The That's the missing shoe. one. Hey, I found another tap in a plastic thing. So okay. We have two pairs of tap shoes. So we're gonna have to put together all the tap shoes like a puzzle once we're done going through the boxes. Yeah. What do you got? What do we have? I got plastic. I have slippers. Oh, do you? Yeah. Let's see yeah. it. These are, whoa. These are dirty. They stink. Ew. Why? Oh, look at the bottoms of these. Who returned these? <laughs> It must have got wet or something. Yeah, y'all are going to the trash pile because that's gross. So what's weird? Oh, God, it's got a whip on it. I didn't smell them at first. <laughs> they, I, oh. like, I really wish you two had smell vision. Yeah, I wish they did. So it looks like like here's another pair that were in the um like these plastic things. It's a pair of like women's sandals, but these are more worn than like the ones in the boxes. Okay, so maybe the plastic ones are like the ones people return even though they weren't supposed to. Ooh, I think we found. Roller blade, just says oh. skate company on it. Come on, please be brand new, please be brand new, please be brand new. Oh Whoa. yes, look at that, no, don't fall. There's a pair of white roller blades with these 
Bright light blue wheels. There you go. You got one out of the plastic. Look Check at those. That out. They're not really roller blades though. They're roller skates. Yeah. But Ew. still, they even. Oh my gosh, they even have the face busting button. Look, <laughs> the button right there. You just press that and you get to break your face. If you ever want roller skating, that's what that's there for. Hey, my. You going roller skating? I might. All right, there you go. <laughs> there you go. You got a brand new pair of roller skates. Yay. I'm trying. <laughs> what about the little itty bitty red box? What does that say? Capazzi? Capazzi? More like little kids tap, tap dancing shoes again. I love the sound the tap shoes. They just sound, I know, right? They just sound so interesting. What do you got for We us? have a pair of boots here. Ooh. See, this is in the plastic, but they don't really look worn. Ooh, those are nice They're a though. pair of boots. I don't even see a brand no. on these at all. They're definitely brand new. You can tell this by looking at them. The brand is Amazon Essentials. So Amazon has their own brand of clothes? <laughs> we got two boxes left in here. You wanna pick one and I'll pick one? All right. I go with this side. Okay, you go first. Let's see. What do I got? What do I got? Uh, what are Sexy. these? They're what? Like metallic silver loafers. I guess that'd be the best way to put them. Some silver <laughs> loafers. Last one. All right, what mine better got? be better than that. I mean, I think he got me. Eh, I don't know. It's pretty close. I don't know. Look at all I, the spikes on these. I was about to say, you got spikes. At least you got a weapon. <laughs> these are Cape Robin. Nice. Like little sandal slides. So this whole mystery box is shoes, and we still have so much more to unbox. Let's keep going. Let's get these two big boxes out of the way here because we can't go through these peacefully. They're too huge. Ugh. You have a guess? I have no clues on the outside of the box. All right, that's what I like to see. Complete and total mystery. What's inside this guy right here? Cardboard cover. Ooh, is that a gaming chair? No, it's a speaker in the back. Ooh, oh, look at that. No. A rocker gaming chair. Now that is awesome right there. Can you see the front of it right here? Yeah. Check that out. So I have this big yellow black box, Bostitch air compressor kit. If it is in there, better be because it's really heavy. I think it is. There we go, Ooh. Bostitch with the tubing. I don't know what else it's supposed to come with, but the big boy is in there. It is $117. Nice. Let's get the other massive Amazon box here out of the way. What does that say? Magnetized material, do not ship by air. Ooh, magnetized material. That makes it sound scary, doesn't it? Let's slice it open and see. What do we got? Ooh, I see pile. That usually means audio. Is that a speaker? All right, guys. Are you ready to hear my solo? <laughs> I am. This is what I call I can't sing. No, I'm not. You should not have got to hear me sing. Don't even think Aww. about it. I can't believe you even thought that was going to happen. <laughs> but look at the size of the speaker. That boy right there is huge. Oh, look. Here's the uh, wireless receiver for the microphone. It's missing a wheel. Is that why I got returned? Yeah, okay, then the other wheel's in the box. It's literally like a super nice speaker with a wireless microphone. Another big box here. Oh, that's a big boy. It is a big long one. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> so uh, what is what does this say? I can't waterproof read. Bluetooth powered speakers. That's a big speaker. It's huge. Holy crap. It looks like a like a construction piece. <laughs> it really does. What the heck? Whoa. Whoa. That looks like something you find on a Look ship. At that. Is that what it's supposed to be? <laughs> What? what? <laughs> I know, that looks like something for a submarine. New, this is selling for $127. Probably my favorite looking thing so far. Check this big guy out right here. The hole pin gun boot looks like a giant plastic gun case. Let's go ahead and slice the box open and make sure that's what's in there. Maybe, you know, they returned it and forgot. Oh man, I left my hunting rifle in the case when I returned it, you know? <laughs> you think? Maybe. Let a man dream, let a man dream. I'm letting you dream. Ugh. Beautiful. And I know these hard plastic cases like this run about a hundred bucks or so all day because well, I have about 15 of them upstairs and they're super, super nice. Another big long box here. At least you said box this time. <laughs> I didn't have to box. make my joke. All right. Rock nope. jam. All is that right. another box? It is another box. A box and a box. Oh wait, there's two pieces? I don't know. Yeah, two pieces. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's a keyboard. Ooh, I, it's like up and down, hold on. How's it look? Ooh, that looks actually super nice. Rock Jam RJ5061. Whoa. Okay, now, since this is the keyboard, what the heck is the other box? That's a good question. I have no idea. Let's get a sneak peek. Let's get, Ooh, I see oh. It. Oh, <laughs> I thought this box went all the way to the bottom. So I'm assuming this is just like the poles for it. Is this a little chair? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, it's a little seat. Sit there and play the keyboard. And we have the, the cords and wires over here. A brand new one is selling for 120 bucks. All right, let's get this box right here. If I can get it without falling, please don't fall. We need you in good shape. Ready here we go. With the box. Slice and dice it. Ooh, I like what I see right there. 
Uh, I'm not gonna tell you anything Aww. yet. You gotta slice it open first. Yeah, first. Check that out. Selling for about a hundred dollars in box like that. A oh, hundred bucks. On. Is that what I, it is? This looks like a random box. Is it? Or is it? I think it might just be pieces. Oh, uh, okay. So let's see. Put that over here. This is water resistant stereo housing box. Yeah, it's just I think it's just all the pieces huh. to the stereo. Like Okay, okay. <laughs> this guy. I just saw a lot of little boxes. <laughs> and and we're like, like, hold up, did they repackage this? <laughs> let's get this big box here with not much on it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. Oh boy, wait. Oh boy. Don't there you go. See anything on it. There's nothing written on this. So this one's a total mystery. Yay! Slice it open. Total mystery. Check that out. It's a whole pan set. Okay, let me pull out. a couple out. So here are the lids. You got the and the lid. The lid. The definitely lid. brand new again, as you can see. So there's a nice pan. A spatula. There they are. So it's a set of at least three pans. Oh, it's a lot of oh, sets. Oh, we have a couple pots wow. over here. So this kind of pot, hold that. Gotcha. This is, you know that goes in one of the pots, like a steamer type attachment? That's what it looks like, for sure. Well, look at this one. This is perfect for one egg. Th what is that? Or one piece of sausage. Who's gonna use this? <laughs> it's for an egg. One egg? Who eats one egg? <laughs> Definitely not me. It? I guess that's true. So I looked it up. There's two that sold, both of them new. One for $85, one for $105. So we'll say it's about 90 bucks for this set right here. All right, let's get the big blue box here. What is that? Is this another Delani? Is this what we had out of the box last time? It might be. This one though is definitely, well the box is a little beat up, but it's definitely got a lot of weight to it. Slice that thing open. Now this one's selling for about 45 bucks. So yeah, that's what the other one was selling for too. I think it was about 45 bucks. Okay. So most likely it's gonna be the same thing. Get out. Just in box this time. There it is, there's the instruction manual. And in box. In box, yay. Yay, new stuff. Here comes another total mystery one. Mystery. This one is completely unmarked brown box. Let's see what's inside this guy. Go, ah, go. hate when tape attacks you. When tape attacks. When tape attacks. It's like a Discovery Channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's another like espresso maker. This one's a, a brand of Breville though. Well, I just wanted to show that it was Breville. That yep. is in It looks there. really nice though. Whoa! No, what? that can't be right. What? Look at this. I just looked it up on eBay and the last three sold listings I see are $420, $400, and $400 for this one right here. That is the win of the palette so far. <laughs> I'm just sitting here checking the model numbers to make sure they match. That's the right one. Whoa. The last three sold for $400. That, who would have guessed? Never would have guessed. Who would have guessed? Wow, that is the jackpot of the palette so far, but I think we could beat this too. Let's get another mystery one like this. <laughs> Don't you fall. Oh, that's on the kitchen. <laughs> Sound like. I bought enough storage units. I think that sounds like pans. <laughs> no, no. Well, I'm completely wrong. Okay, wow. But it is cast iron, it looks it is like. Cast iron. Let's see. Take it out and put it kind of together. It's like I don't know. a compass, a star. And that, oh, I see now. I see now. I see now. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. This Heavy is. Though, huh? Yeah, it's a lot heavier than it looks. So there's the base. I guess that goes. You see the little part at the bottom? This? Probably right here. Maybe this goes in here. Maybe. That's my guess right huh. now. Cast iron is usually expensive though, is it? Pans. Wait, here's a book. Oh, there it is. Completed armorillary sundial. Let me see it. Check it out. That's what it's supposed to look like when it's all said and done right there. The last one even sold on eBay. Like I'm actually shocked at this. Sold for $76.75 brand new. I would not have expected it to be worth that, but man, anything cast iron, I guess, always look up. It's always going to have some value. Let's get this big old one. Is this one a mystery? Oh, no, I see something on the top. I think we've had one of these before. The creamy. The ninja creamy. You want to see if it's actually in there though? Yeah. Is it in there? It is in there. The ninja creamy. Creamy. Let's get this big guy right here. I've been excited to open this one because if this was in there, it could be worth a lot of money. So fingers <laughs> crossed. What is the brand on this? Morant. Morant. It looks like an ample tuner audio. Receiver? It looks like it. Don't be something else. Well, I see something. The this, styrofoam. There's the remote. All right, let's pull this out. Oh, I can't get it. It's heavy. Got it. Okay. Ugh. Is that what it is? Please tell me yes. Morant. That's what it is, baby. Let's go. Morant audio receiver. They were not lying. The last three of these that sold sold for five hundred seventy dollars, six hundred, and five hundred and eighty. That is absolutely Whoa. insane, man. Okay. Well, that last thing that we said was the jackpot of the pallet so far. It just got overtaken. Those two okay. items alone could be a thousand dollars just to half the money back in two items. Man, wow. that's crazy. That is. <laughs> crazy here we got a insta instant something what is it Air oh fryer. another 
pretty air fryer. Doesn't it seem like air fryers were like, once this super rare cool thing, then all of a sudden Everybody everyone had one and they were everywhere. This one's selling for about 30 bucks pre-owned, $44 brand new in box. So let's see what this one looks like. Come on, Here's dude. the paperwork. Thank you. And there we go. There it is, in box. Like that with the plastic right there. So I'd say easy $40 all day. Next thing here is that Kasori. What's a Kasori? You see that thingy there? The Dehydrator. Ooh, a dehydrator. Slice it open. Can make me some beef jerky. <laughs> I see it actually, this exact one on Amazon right now, $70. Why and can't I get this off? Because it's sealed. That's Jeez. still like completely sealed. Okay, yeah, I can't. <laughs> Look. It's in there. I just can't get this part off. Lift it up, pull from that side. Oh, we actually got it off. Never oh. mind. <laughs> I just tried for a second and it actually came off. It is in there. It's definitely in there, and that's a nice seventy dollars. Let's grab this Hamilton Beach Health Smart something. What juicer. is it? The juicer? Yes. All right, let's scan this really quick. Doink. Oh, that's not that expensive. It's about twenty bucks in box like this. So, plus shipping though. So twenty dollars. Is that what's in there? Oh, there it is. It is. $20 for the juicer and box. I think this is our third baby now. Ninja Creamy in box. This one is selling for about $80 to $120. So and we'll call it a hundred bucks. It's in there. Boom, $100 right there. We gotta clear out your side. My side's very empty and your side's still staying it high. Is. I have up. a pretty, a, a lot of stuff behind me. What is that, so coffee maker? We have a Mr. Coffee coffee maker. $35, yeah, by I was the about way. To say, this is probably like a really common type thing that is probably in like every American household. Except ours, because we don't drink coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's not <laughs> coffee, but it is in there. 35 bucks added Easy. to the total. Next, we have a waterproof hydro. Ooh. B, D, B, I read that all completely wrong. Pile speaker. <laughs> nice, so. The last one of these that sold in box sold for one hundred and twenty-five dollars. I never is like awesome. heard of this brand until like, Pile? this palette. Yeah, that's pretty you? cool. No, I mean you guys know watch us through open storage units. I don't know <laughs> brands and anything. So this is these are white. Yeah, one hundred twenty-five dollars. Okay. Cool. And there's one, this is so weird. There's three that sold. The last one, 125. Before that, 70. Before that, 187. So let's just call it around 110, 120 dollars. This Whoa. big boy here. Oh, that's a beautiful guy. It is. Let's turn him around. Let's turn him around. Ah, check it that PA out. Portable PA speaker system. This will be great for our like Christmas event, our yard sale. We can yeah. yell at people. <laughs> Yeah. It's actually only about 50 bucks, but still, we're probably gonna keep this, so only that's not even being bucks. sold. Yeah. It's Why have we not bought this by now? Because I don't know. I would just assume <laughs> if I saw that, I would assume it's like two, three hundred dollars. Yeah, I know. But it's actually only 50 bucks. Here goes our best friend pile. This one is. Oh, we can't really see what it is. We're gonna have to cut it open. Whoa. I think I feel like every pile speaker like. Whoa. Yeah, this is, this one's pretty good up there. This is brand new, Another isn't it? One. Yeah, this is literally not even open. Somebody just bought it and decided, nah. Some husband bought this and his wife was like, how dare you? No, it's, it's actually a, a wireless Bluetooth amplifier. Is what it, I just got it, I looked it up, and the last two that sold, what? sold for $230 for this guy right here. And look at this. Look at that, that's exactly what it is. I'm Whoa. looking at the picture right here. Open box, huh. $230 for that guy. Open box? Yeah, open box. Whoa. That is absolutely awesome. Every time I see pile now, I just see money signs. We got a food saver. These are never that expensive, but they're something that everybody uses, I guess. So they're always easy sales. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, this one's actually more expensive than the other one. This one's about 45, 50 bucks, open box like that. Cool. And it's in there. So yeah, that's an easy $45. Easy I see dollar signs. <laughs> dollar signs, I mean. Pile speaker. Pile. Okay, there it is. So this Slice says, it open. Wireless home theater pre amplifier. Well, I think it's gonna be money. I, I think, think so too. Money. Let's guess. Uh, What's your guess? I say 200. 200. Yeah, that's what I, I, I said guess. that. <laughs> All right, I'll say 160. All right, let's see. Ah, oh, not as much as we thought, but oh. still good money. Look at that. Sealed in the plastic with the styrofoam. Last one is sold, $143. So $140 for that one. This one I think is a Hamilton Beach again. 
So definitely something cooking. Yeah, that's actually pretty good right now. So this is this is like something Amazon would send directly. It has their tape, perfect box. Like it's they cut just the straight shipping label off of this one. So and I don't think that this one's even like a return. No, somebody might have just sent it back. Or it? It could have been lost in the no. mail. Big crap. Anything <laughs> like that. But yeah, I just looked it up. It's going for about fifty-five dollars, brand new, <laughs> like that one is. So again, hey, can I say easy money one more time? Easy money. Go ahead, say it again, say it again. Easy money. One more time. Easy money. <laughs> Easy money. All right, let's get this one off the floor here. This looks like another espresso machine, I think. The box has. Well, it's seen better days, but no one cares about the box. You're just going to throw it away, right? Yeah. Here's an instruction manual. We have EC260. BK? No. EC260-265. Okay, I'll look that up while espresso you... Espresso maker. 265. Bam. New inbox. Yeah, the last one right there sold $55 for that guy. Nice. Easy 55 bucks. Let's get the blue one here. How about a few more single products then we go into that big box of the mystery I Amazon. <laughs> what is this supposed to be? Like a leaf blower? Battery power blower? I think it's a leaf blower. Slice that thing open. Ooh, that's definitely what's in there, all right? We have the nozzle, the and main part. Where's the battery? It doesn't have a battery. There's no battery. They took the battery. The battery's uh, missing. I mean, it might still have some value. If somebody has a battery, they have an extra one. I would have kept it. You would have kept it? I would have. I bet you can buy the battery online for like 10 bucks or something like that. Let's grab this guy. I think this one's a total mystery. Yeah, there's nothing written on there. It's just who knows what? Let's slice it open. This is somebody bought a gold bar, but they actually meant to buy two gold bars, so they returned it. Hopefully it's a gold bar. How do we get in there? How do you open this? This is a weird looking box. Don't oh, slice me. I figured it out. Okay, there we go. What is in here? It's upside down. No idea. This is what it looks like on the bottom. Let's see. Okay, so we're, I'm just gonna have to clean the house. It has some type of like Asian writing on the side, so it's not even in English. I can't even read what it says. Pull. Ready? What is this? Here's a book. Let's read okay, that. Okay, thank you. I'll look it up. You show what it is. Whoa! Look, it's a milkshake thing. Are you serious? Yeah, that's exactly what it look is. Look at it. Look. It's a milkshake machine. Cool. That is actually <laughs> crazy cool, but this thing doesn't have a model on it. Does it have a brand on it? Uh, it's got a yellow sticker right there. What does that say? V E O R. Let's see. V E V O R. Milkshake. I'll just type that in and see what we get, I guess. No, okay, that's a whole machine. I was about to say. The one I see that looks the most like it is going for about 70 bucks. Well, if you want to keep it, you know, homemade milkshake, that'd be cool. That'd be weird. That would be cool. Like, I feel like <laughs> cool. I only associate a milkshake with going out somewhere. Like, I've never had a milkshake at home. Let's make our own milkshake. That seems weird. <laughs> What's in the white box right here? Let's see. Does this have anything on it? It has a skew, but that's it. Let's slice it open. Oh, well, or just open it. <laughs> What is it? Another box? Another box in the box? Whoa, what's that? A screen? Okay, here's a brand. Allura All right. Tech. All right, let's see. Does it have a model number on it? Yeah, it has a serial number. Model number AWS. Yeah. 17F. 17.3 oh. inch Wi-Fi digital photo frame. You know what the last one sold for? Huh. $285. $285 what the last one sold for. What? I didn't even know they made these this big. I know. I thought that was like a tablet or a computer that's screen or awesome. something. The wires and everything, that's what's in the little box right there. Wow. Who would have nice. expected? That's freaking awesome. $280 some dollars. All right, let's go in this little pile box. Then I want to break open the big Amazon box and see what's inside. Another pile. Box. I love pile, man. Pile is just easy money now. Look Here's for in the box. Beautiful, Let's beautiful, beautiful. So stereo amplifier. Oh, that's like still in the plastic, isn't it? Yeah. So there it is. Pre-owned, it sold for sixty bucks, but new in packs I get hundred dollars. Compact wireless BT amplifier. Yeah, a hundred bucks on that thing right there all day. Now I think we get into the big mystery Amazon box and see what we got. Yee! Let's get this big boy up here. This box is super heavy too. Like, I think okay. it got the heavier part. <laughs> got the trusty dusty. Box cutter. Slicer open. Slice it. I All love right. the mister. Whoa, this one's really random looking. Ooh. Completely Whoa, open. This is really random. Check this one out. This one's like just who knows what in there mystery. Let's just start pulling stuff out. First, we'll start with that box. Yes, let's start with the cardboard box. Let's see. Slice and dice. Slice and dice. Slice and dice. Slice and dice. What's in there? So something wood. Wooden. Wooden. Uh, what is that, like a little shelving set? This looks like a napkin holder. Okay, so probably like a little okay. dinner set and stuff. Yeah, and then there's two little like crates or whatever. You can probably put on your countertops or your table. Let's just grab this. What is this? A cuisine art. Is it a toaster? It is actually a toaster. Compact. And it is 
in there and it's not used at all. There's no breadcrumbs in there. Once you use the toaster once, trust me, everyone knows it's full of crumbs. You know how toasters go. Rip it open. This one, is that a sweater? It is, it might be a rug. Actually, I think you're right. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know, that's pretty big. It's way bigger this than way. I thought it was gonna be. What? Other way. Sorry. <laughs> this I couldn't way. see it. Okay. Okay. That's actually kind of nice. I like black and white stuff. I feel I like we're gonna keep this. I feel like our, our aesthetic in the house is getting closer and closer to like white, black, and gray. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I love those kind of those colors. It just looks so nice. This, whoa, why does this feel padded? Oh, these are football pants. Are they? I could, yeah, I can tell you without taking them out. These are football okay. pants right there. What else? Oh, Let, let's... Do you remember this? I'm so sorry, I okay, have to show you ahead. this. Do you remember this? Ah! You remember this game? Tic -tac -tac this is the beanbag tossing tic-tac-toe game. Oh my gosh. Whoa, okay. This is nostalgic right there. <laughs> that is so crazy. Who played? If you played that as a kid, put that down in the comments. What you got? All right, let's get this book out of the way. This book has seen better days. Man. It is Organic Chemistry by David Klein. Let me scan that barcode. Is it even scannable? I don't know. We're going to try. Oh, it's scanned. Look, look at the barcode. You know, it's actually still <laughs> worth $20. Okay. It's still okay. a $20 textbook. What about this guy right here? Look at this. No idea what it is. Let's just open the plastic. It's like hard though. I don't know what it is. Might be Let's multiple see. pieces we can. Let's see. Oh, I'm starting to see something unfold. Is it a toaster again? It's like another toaster. Why is oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, why is this? What kind of toaster is this? A sub, sub rolls? Roll? I was about to say that. Sub rolls? Sub it makes some good flatbread mess, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might keep it. You never know. What you else we know. got in here? Along with the milkshake. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is a waffle cone maker. Ooh, a waffle cone. Waffle you have me a waffle. Cone maker. <laughs> Dang, that's by nice. Quisina Pro. And Ooh. that is definitely in there. Let's scan it. It's in the right, box. Let's scan it. I feel like I've never seen a cone maker. Oh, right here. We got a barcode? Cool. Eh, it's kind of sticky it's residue it. on it, but. It, again, pre-owned, it sold for 15 bucks, but new, it sold for 45 bucks. So I'll save like 20, okay. $25 on that. Oh, what is this? Well, yeah, well let's head. This is where the weight's coming from. Whoa, man, what is this? A shelf? Shelf? Yeah, I think it's like a floating shelf. Or is it open? Oh no, it's two. It's just two shelves. Okay, two, two floating shelves? Yeah, two floating shelves, that's weird. A pullback busy <laughs> bug book. Is it like a pop-up book? Uh, kind of. Uh, let's see, what's it going for? It's selling for like actually $10, $15 pre-owned. $16 sold pre-owned. Okay, what you got? so I went to pull this and it came out of the box. So it is in there, but it is a relief pack, hot spot, moist heat mint. An air fryer cookbook. We, we found like what, six air fryers in here? <laughs> yeah, we now we'll this. know what to make in them. <laughs> All right, this is a baby splash mat. Hey look, gloves. Hey. And they're size large for well. you. No, you guys know I don't wear gloves. <laughs> Storage units, dumpsters, I don't do gloves. <laughs> hey, look, a little baby thing right here. But look that, little, I said look that. I forgot the word at in the middle. <laughs> look at that, a little baby thingy there. What is this? See that? Cool, oh, I thought it was like a bulletproof vest. You see this? Cooling vest? It says cooling vest on it. Yeah, how does it come out? Are this two different things or is it all together? I think this is all together. This is a vest right here. And this right here, I guess, is the part that, like it says tech on the side there, a cooling vest. Wow, new, the last one sold for $70. See, look. Pre-owned, $50, new, $70 for that little vest. Who would have ever guessed? <laughs> this guy right here, what is this? Storage? Mylar bags. Okay, food storage bags. We found quite a few of the actual machines, so the bags would be nice. Then we got, looks like part of a, who knows what. It's a pitcher, it's a Brita like pitcher. Oh, a water pitcher. Yeah, water pitcher. That's what it is, it's got the little filter in it, huh? Uh-huh. Nice, this guy here. What is that, aqua clear? Aqua. Nice. This. Is that the first I think? What is this? Oh, it's got a price tag on it right there. Let's see what that is. Looks like a dress maybe? Uh, the brand is J-K-A-R-A -A, New York. All right, <laughs> let's take it out of here. I don't know what's with these mystery boxes giving me women stuff. First I can get all heels, and now as soon as you grab the camera to point it at me, I get a dress. <laughs> yep. What is going on here? Wear uh, it, wear it, not wear it. Chance, not a <laughs> The smallest microscopic of a chance is that going on my body. Uh, what else is in here? Some golfing gloves? Batting gloves. Batting. Let me have my moment. <laughs> no, whoa. Of, um, baby stuff. This, oh my gosh, what is this? Oh. Feel the weight to this. This is where all the weight comes from. Can I do it with my from. one hand? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's heavy, right? Yeah. What is that? Uh, what is this? Um, yeah. Any car part that I see by itself, I'm like, it's a catalytic converter. <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing about car stuff. Or a it, muffler. It, the barcode <laughs> is just covered with a shipping label too, so mechanics, car people, we're assuming this is a car part. It might not even be a car part. <laughs> might but not be. It might be, it's probably a car part. So somebody tell me what that is. We got another 
textbook here. Women's nursing care for Look infants and children. Man, that's well used, but you know what? I'm gonna scan it anyway, because textbooks are so random. There could be like a $2 one, the one that looks the same is like 200 bucks. Look at that, last one it sold, $43, 32, 41. See, this, they're actually putting decent books in here. What is that? Gone. Balls. That, Wait, like a, what is that? Pull that out. Why do you say it like that? It's fluffy. Uh, Ew, they look nasty. What are they, boots? I don't know what they are, but like it's slippers stinks. or something. I'm, yeah, those are definitely used. They're going to the junk pile. They smell really bad. This right here? Mm, I'm not what? sure. Let's see. Let's open it up and check it out. Come out of there. You? What are you? Well, this material is with. A dress. <laughs> Let's grab this big old Samsung box right here. Samsung Whoa. box? Soundbar S61A. I bet you this is gonna have some value. What do you guess? What's your guess why you cut it? 200. 200? Okay, yeah. that sounds fair. I'm typing it in while you slice it open so we can see. It's mm, mm, not quite, but not still quite? pretty good. Okay. 100. The last two that sold, sold for 150 and 15 shipping and 168. So about 150 to 160 dollars on this guy. And it looks like it's literally never been opened, huh? Yep, check that out. Wow, look at that guy. Brand new in box with the wrapping and everything on it. Easy 150 bucks right there. Let's get at this other Mr. Coffee out. Is this the same one as the last one or is it different? It is different. Okay, okay. See that? Yeah. Boom, it's American in there. Coffee, two you shot see? cafe barista. So pre-owned, this is going for about 50 bucks, new in box like that, about $70, so not bad. Let's grab the brown mystery box here with no indication of what's inside of it. All right. I love these. I just can't help it. These are the best. The mystery is so thrilling. I don't know either. Last time was a Food Saver too. This might be a different version. Uh, food looks Saver VS050. I'm gonna Google it really quick while you show it on camera. That's about $45 pre-owned, so not bad. Is this a mystery box too? This is a big mystery box yes, actually. It is. And dice, slice, slice, dice. All right, that's fair. I don't like the blade that close. <laughs> oh my gosh, I always wanted this. Paper! Yeah. Oh, look, it's a, man, it's so deep in there. It's a pan set. Nice. A nice little green pan, uh, pan set. Let's see, what's your guess? I'm gonna say 30 bucks. 40. 40? 35. <laughs> No kidding, right in the middle of us two. Eight you know what? Nine and a half. That's Four. not bad right there. Cool. This one is a uh, Brita. Those are like the water filter people. So let's cut it open and see what exactly it is model wise and what kind of value it's got. Force. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. That looks kind of like what's in our fridge, doesn't Brita, it? Brita like um, dispenser. You put whatever you want in it, filters it. Let's say $20. That's my guess. Black and Decker. Let's see. Is it a. Toaster oven? Toaster oven. It's another four toaster slice. oven. Four slice toaster oven. Boom, four slice toaster oven. It's going for, dun 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 dun, about $35, $40, so not too expensive. Oh, in the plastic. Bam! In the plastic. That's the best ones when it's literally completely Decker. brand new. All right, what's this big guy down here? Whoa, this box is a lot heavier than I thought it was. There's a big brown box down here. It just says Amazon oh, Basics. Oh man, it's heavy. All right. What is this? Um, is this another pot set? Look at the writing. That's definitely not English. Okay, uh, here's a couple tops. Oh, well. So there's the pot. All right, check it out. Spatulas, spoon. It's like a whole kitchen set, huh? Yeah. It's the Amazon Basics non-stick cookware set. I'm it's a nice- like 40 bucks. I would guess about 40 bucks. Yeah, I'd say that's about right for that. Another Hamilton Beach. This one says Good Thinking Food Processor. It's going for about $25 on eBay, full size like that. Oh yeah, that's exactly that. what's look, in there. Right off the top, there's the top right there. And the rest of it is right below it. I like what I see, dollar signs. I see pile. Pile, <laughs> pile has been money so far. Check it out. Let's see if that's actually what's in there, though. So there it is. Compact audio source amplifier. Punch it in here. The last one is sold. Two sold. Oh. One for $80, one for $100. So I'd say 90 bucks. Sure. Right in the middle. Call it 90. This guy is huge. What is this? Like a... A buffet thing? Look at that. It looks like something you see like a buffet. So this just says, um, simply better, easily converts from buffet server to warming tray for serving options. Last one sold, sold for $46 on eBay. So nice little guy there. Look at that. It's in there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Man, this is cool. <laughs> Let's get started again with this Premier Coffee series. All right, coffee cuisine art. That's going for about 
40 bucks, one for 50 something, one for 40. Bam. And it's nice and in there. So easy $40 right there. This is another cuisine art. What is it? An ice cream maker or something? Uh, where did I see it? Ice cream, frozen yogurt, ice cream, and sorbet maker. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. It's the actual like box in here. Oh, nice. So it's actually want to take it out, see if it, that's what it is and everything. Nice. Actually, that's what it is. It says it's going for about $65 new right now. So that's a good one. Brand new. There's so much like packing material around it that it's hard to like get to. But yes, brand new. Brand new. Easy 60 bucks right there. What do you got there? We have an Instapot. Hold that. Oh, that's a big boy. This is falling right behind me. Don't let it collapse. We need it to stay. We can't let it fall. But this right here is a Instapot machine. The nice pink and white box right here and dice it. <laughs> I took a headshot. <laughs> Bang, look at that. That's exactly Bam. what that guy is. Brand new, sealed, still in the plastic here. $60 actually. Hey. The Keurig? Keurig. Is it Keurig or Keurig? Keurig. I say Keurig. Keurig. <laughs> I think it sounds funnier. You say Keurig? Yes. I'm special, okay? Judge me. I love you anyway. Thank you. That's what matters most. That's what matters most. <laughs> Check that out. Brand new and sealed. Hey. It's like 65, 69, around there. So I'll say about 60 bucks on that. We got the Black & Decker right here. Is this the toaster oven again? Yes. We already found one of these. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there we Boom. go. Boom. Still in the plastic and in the box. Let's go for this big guy here. What does that say? Quizimax? Quizimax. Quizimax? What is it like a, uh, I don't even know. Infrared cooker. Ooh, an infrared cooker. That's kind of cool. In there, in the plastic. That's what we like to see. And that is selling for $45 to $50 on that one. So another great find. I think this big boy here is uh, a blender, a Blue Leaf Platinum 550 watt blender. Let's slice this sucker open to see if it's in there or not. Look inside the box. Just That's like a lot of pieces. Jar, like the blender, actual part and like, I don't know, three different storage jars. Pre-owned, that was $70, but in box with all the pieces, last one is sold $100 plus shipping. So that's a nice little guy right there too. Another Hamilton Beach, what? Good thinking. No, oh, juice extractor. Oh, juice extractor. So let's, oh, this one's easy to get out. And that one, well, you can see it right there. It's in the plastic and everything. Actually 45, I would've been off by $15. Going for $45 on eBay. Another food saver. Uh -huh. I'm gonna, I think we've got like two or three of these guys so far. Yeah. I'm gonna slice it open. But kitchen stuff like this, easiest stuff to move because people always need it. Yeah. Everyone's buying a new apartment, a new house, moving, renting a new place, something. You always need it. So it's so always it easy to sell. The um, equipment itself and then some of the bags. Oh, cool. This one actually came with some bags. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh. Searing grill. Oh. A nice indoor grill so you can make steaks when it's raining. It says you know? get outdoor flavor indoors. Exactly. Sometimes like right now it's raining outside. I want steak, but can't cook steak in a pan. It's just not as good. <laughs> it's got to go in the grill by law. Nice and in there too. <laughs> That's going for about $45. Two sold. One for $45, one for $85. So let's call it 50 bucks to be safe. We'll just call it somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is like the fourth creamy that we've got. Another ninja but creamy. This one's going for a hundred. Last one is sold pre-owned. Sold for $128. Not bad at all. Ninja's great. Cause Ninja stuff's like a very good selling brand. It sells very often. So anytime you see Ninja, it moves super easy. Here we and go. There it is. Bang. It's just in there. Now I can finally see what this big oven thing is right here. What is that? A breville? <laughs> Uh, Breville? Breville. Is it a, like a toaster oven? I don't know. It just has some really good looking says, chicken wings on the front. <laughs> Mini smart oven is what it says. What makes it so smart? Ooh, last one is sold open box, $120. Before that, $140. Check that out. I don't know what makes you so smart, but judging by the chicken wings on the front of your box, I kind of want to use it. Black & Decker. Is that another like, convention oven? Another Black & Decker convention oven. And we got, I think this one right here is just a total mystery box. Oh, the box ripped open. I didn't think it would. Ow! What'd you do? <laughs> Let's open this one up because it's just a total mystery. What is that thing? Is that a milkshake? Uh, no. Maybe another espresso maker? Right here. Okay, this is a pile. PT390 <laughs> AU. That one is selling for about $100 if it was the same one. But check that out. In the box. Bang. Bang. Nice and in the box. The popcorn machine. Stirring theater popcorn machine. West Bend Theater Crazy. In there. It's selling for about $50 to $70. 
brand new? Is it in there? You said yes, in plastic? Uh, not in plastic. Okay, but. so still it's still about fifty some dollars plus shipping all day. I feel like <laughs> I found one of these in a unit. I remember being like, "What the yep. heck is this?" Slice it open. Let's see if that's actually what's in there. Hi guys. <laughs> B450. Okay, so this part has a speaker. Uh, it looks like it's going for like a little over $100, so that's a good find too. Last box here is the QB QB L-shaped desk, and I punched it into eBay. Last one is sold, easy $90. This one's brand new and sealed in box two. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave a comment right now saying this palette was awesome. If you want to see more, definitely drop the video a thumbs up. We can do more in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.